Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Derek Jeter and a boy named Peter. Everybody has cheated in some way or another. A stinky math test. An affair with your second wife. Getting Mountain Dew Baja Blast with your cup for water. But unlike all of these examples, cheating was once viewed as a positive feature in video games. Something wacky ass and fun that changes the way the game is played. A secret little Easter egg snuck into the game for the most inquisitive chosen ones to find. Or a helping hand to assist a struggling player that is just really tired of dying. This game is is horse shit. But in modern times, the world of cheating in video games has evolved. It has become a realm primarily consisting of unfair advantages, 11 year old boys, and the funniest shit I maybe have ever seen. Yes, I'm talking about hacks. In the world of video games, these are the four nations of cheats. Goofy, wacky, awesome, fun times, yes! Creaky, secret, sneaky, sneakers. <laughs> help me, mommy, I need help and the Cheetah Men. And some people might argue that mods for single player games are a form of cheats, but that's a whole nother can of worms to open and last time I checked I wasn't in the fucking worm business. You may have noticed I'm using a four-way Venn diagram, or as us professionals would call it, a quadraphonogram to separate these four nations of cheats, and that's because the dividing lines between them tend to get a little blurry. For example, Let's take a look at the DK mode, or big head mode, cheat and Goldeneye. It's the creaky sneaky easter egg nod to Rare's previous Donkey Kong Country games, but it's also goofy wacky fun times, yes, because it changes the gameplay, but it's also help me mommy I need help because the giant heads make headshots easier, whereas in another game with a big head mode cheat such as NBA Jam, it doesn't really change much, it's just goofy and funny. Also, what the heck was it with 90s games thinking big heads were the funniest shit ever, like oh my god, he's got a tiny body and a giant head. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Any hooch, let's talk about the goofy fun time cheats. The beautiful codes that show off ideas maybe the game dev team had that didn't make it into the game or just stuff they thought was super fun to play around with. Infinite bullet time and Max Payne, which is as pleasurable as it sounds. Debug mode in Sonic 2 that lets you frick around and basically make your own levels. Moon gravity in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 that lets you dick flip into the cosmos as if your skateboard was engineered at SpaceX by Elon Musk himself. However, the best showcase for goofy wacky fun time cheats that can completely change the way a game is played is undoubtedly the Grand Theft Auto series. These games have so many fucking cheats, they should be eating Cheetos. Flying cars, which you can also do with a tank, allowing you to boost yourself through the sky like a rocket ship. Riding NPCs that are insane. Explosive punches, and my personal favorite, CJ Phone Home. I probably only would have put in half the time I did in the San Andreas if it didn't have this cheat. I just like flying through the air on a bicycle. Sue me, see if I care. Sustain overrule. These kinds of cheats are just a massive bonus on top of a game that already let you do whatever the frick you wanted. And there's so many cheats that each of my friends had their own personal favorites that helped tailor the game to be their own unique dream playground, and that's pretty fucking cool. But along with being in the goofy wacky fun times yes category, I would also put GTA in the help me mommy I need help category. You know, the type of cheats that basically exist to be a booster seat for the struggling player. Hey, can I get invincibility in every weapon ever made? I can? Okay, cool. Oh my god, thank you. Hey, I'm kind of struggling with your game, Mr. Aladdin. Can I just skip to the last level? Okay, oh my god, thank you. Or of course the classic Konami code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right giving you all the extra lives you could ever want. Wait, are you serious? Oh my god, thank you. There's not a whole lot of insight I have for this category other than it's cool that people who suck at video games can have fun too. It's cool that I could skip the level in Sonic 2 so I just don't get fucking stuck in the purple water. I don't know. Now let's move on and talk about some of the coolest cheats of all times. Of course, I'm talking about the creaky sneaky secret sneakers. The Easter egg gift wrapped birthday presents that the developers snuck into the game to reward only the most inquisitive of the gamer girls. Doing a bunch of specific inputs to unlock an entirely new character in Street Fighter 2. Turning on blood in the first Mortal Kombat game when mommy goes to sleep because you're a naughty old boy. Entering the name Justin Bailey in Metroid to see Samus in her pink leotard, cause guess what? You're still naughty! But the coolest example of a sneaky easter egg slash help me mommy hybrid comes from the snakiest Metal Gear Solid game, where you can fast forward your PS2's internal clock to kill an aging boss of old age. How fucking cool is that? Kojima was always thinking outside the box. He's so far away from the box, he looked at it and he was like, what the frickin' heck is that? Which is ironic, because the box is an iconic item in the Metal Gear Solid series, but 
sustained overruled, I think is the term. Anyways, these cheats are cool because it's like a sneaky little love note the developers snug into the game to remind you that video games are made by real people who are passionate and care about the art form. It's, it's communication between a developer and player, and it's wicked. But you want to know what isn't bloody wicked, Harold? Twitch streamers that blatantly use wall hacks in CSGO. Actually, I take it back. It's pretty fucking hilarious. Clara? I'm talking about the Cheetah Boys. People that do post-market mods to multiplayer games to give them godlike abilities that, while extremely hilarious to watch, give them a pretty obvious unfair advantage. Hacking is like the ultimate form of, help me mommy, I need help, and runs rampant in competitive online games because some people just really need to win at whatever cost. And it works in this vicious toxic circle because so many people choose to fight fire with fire or aimbot with wall hacks. Well, I only turn my cheats on once he turned his cheats on. Go fuck yourself. I personally believe that the punishment for using hacks shouldn't just be an account ban or a, or a mark on your permanent record. I believe we should round up all the hackers and, and waterboard them with Mountain Dew Baja Blast until they stop saying racial and homophobic slurs and aimbotting me and my mom. Cheat codes, by the classic definition, are sadly a dying breed. As gaming has transitioned into more multiplayer heavy experiences, it would make sense that naturally cheat codes would kind of fade away. But that doesn't mean their lasting effects can't be seen. Games like Uncharted 4 have an insane list of bonus features that rival even the best video game code cheat book. Turning on slow-mo aiming basically turns the game into max pain with grappling hooks, which is my personal wet dream. And I sincerely believe that if it wasn't for cheat codes in classic video games, modern gamers wouldn't be as inspired to craft these mods that enhance an experience to be even more fun, polished, and imaginative than before. Cheat codes inspire, cheat codes matter, but most of all, cheat codes are just plain dang old fun. And that's what this is all about, right? Having fun? <laughs> I'll see you next time. A one, a two, a three, a four. My little brother turned into a fucking whore, yeah. Shook Daddy Shampoo was my dude, they are made of Hunter D. Buns, Ethan Conrad Chaos. Tiny and comparable and you get love by. They me in the fool, has a bar spark shroud. T Supreme with cheese, newbie CC, Mikey P. Tony, 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 Bear, Lana, B Man, Bree. Derek, Madrano, LA, Saint 66, but no, she sucked, peck of a Frank, this bit. Ever since C. Lee, and the Grimble Grim, Miss Chris Anderson, she my boo, Laura, Laura, Slam, Rad Daddy, Rampant, Rock God, Rex, Luther Gray, Stir, McLaren, and Worst Remix. We got Whiskey November, Chris Bailey, Russell Kill, Gower, Limp, Dimble, Dr. Drowsy, Rom Geist, aka Cream of Beat, AJ the Pizza Guy, Send Over Pregnant, Shabo Ladies, Stevie Big Scroll, Rankin, Pop Gordon in the third, Nathan the Streeter, Hop on 90. Just as that nerd, Dr. Fly Dre, White Boy Shrink and Nuke, Easter Bunny Bun. Now I need to poop, cause every rose has its thong. Every rose and every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. A sad song, yeah. Every rose has its thong. Every rose, every rose, every cowboy sings a sad, sad song.